guys welcome back to top notch tv today we will be bringing you your full gist and untold story about hush puppy the biography arrested age real name income controversies shoes cars house net worth hush puppy does not like to keep his success hush hush Nigerian socialite Hush Puppy is living a life of luxury that many of his followers can only dream about. His flamboyant lifestyle puts stars like Adesua Etomi, Banky W, and Genevieve Nanji to shame. Hush Puppy boasts an Instagram following of 1.9 million October 2019 and is followed by A list celebrities such as American singer songwriter Erika Badu. But who is Hush Puppy? We'll reveal all in his biography. Hush Puppy arrested again. The billionaire businessman alongside his equally wealthy friend Mr. Woodbury were reportedly ambushed and arrested in Dubai over allegations that they have committed large-scale fraud. The news broke on Twitter along with a video which went viral showing a fleet of police cars supposedly surrounding the home of Hush Puppy in the UAE where he resides. According to reports, which remain sketchy, Hush Puppy and Woodbury were allegedly involved in a multi-million dollar US fraud scheme targeting the unemployment insurance system. Another report claimed the pair had scammed the U.S. government out of millions of dollars over deals to sell ventilators used to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. So what really happened that led to Hush Puppy and his friends getting arrested? Hush Puppy and his friends flew to Dubai to pick money, a total of 35 U.S. million dollars for some Nigerian scammers. When they got to Dubai, they told the scammers back home that there was only 5 million U.S. dollars available. To make matters worse, out of the 5 million U.S. dollars, they sent only 1 million U.S. dollar home. With this, the scammers were infuriated, leading them to leak all evidence to the Interpol and the FBI connecting the operation to Hush Puppy and his friends. Hush Puppy's age. Hush Puppy was born in Lagos, Nigeria. He has not publicly revealed his age, but is believed to be in his 30s. Several publications claimed Hush Puppy was born on June 14, 1988, which would make him 31, 2019, but it seems his date of birth is actually October. Hush Puppy took to Instagram on October 11, 2019 to wish himself a happy birthday. He wrote, as I turn a year older into my 30s today, I want to celebrate all of you out there who have been through the years, been very supportive in any form to me. Those of you who mostly I have never met, spoken to or anything, but have been a strong supporter of me through every situation until this point and still riding for me. I want you to know wherever you are that I celebrate and appreciate you today. Today is our day. Hush Puppy's birthday celebrations usually do not reveal anything that would confirm his age. Hush Puppy's real name. Hush Puppy's real name is Raymond Igbalodeli. He is also known as Aja Puppy and Aja Four. Close family and friends call him Ray. How does Hush Puppy make money? While Hush Puppy describes himself as a real estate developer, he has not fully disclosed how he makes money to afford his posh lifestyle. He once joked that he is a beggar by profession. The source of Hush Puppy's wealth is a bit of mystery, but many believe he has invested in property and other lucrative businesses. Hush Puppy comes from a humble beginning. His father is reportedly a taxi driver, while his mother is said to be a baker who makes bread. The socialite became famous based on the pictures and videos he shared on Instagram and Snapchat. Many were mesmerized by his wealth. He often flaunts his Gucci clothes, private jets, luxury cars, and expensive trips all over the world on his social media page. Despite his riches, Hush Puppy describes himself as a humble man. So every young black kid out there, what you get in life is up to you. The hard work you put in, the passion, the love for what you do, respect people, be humble to people, show love to people, be kind. That takes you far in life, he said in an Instagram video. Hush Puppy's arrest. Hush Puppy's haters were convinced that he made money illegally. Some have even predicted he will soon be arrested by Interpol for his alleged dodging dealings. Hush Puppy has said time and time again that he makes his money through hard work and determination. Despite this, some social media users believe it won't be long before officials come knocking on his door, especially following the arrest of his friend Ismailia Mumfa Mustafa.
The Economic and Crime Financial Commission, EFCC, reportedly arrested Ismailia at Lagos Murtala Mohammed International Airport in October 2019. The Mumfa Buriu, the change CEO, was nabbed just before departing Nigeria. He was headed to Dubai, where he is based. Hush Puppy shared a cryptic message on Instagram following Ismaili's arrest. Some people are eagerly waiting for that sad news about you. May they wait until they perish. The message read. Hush Puppy's controversies. Human rights activist Deji Adeyonju made headlines in 2018 when he demanded that the EFCC investigate Hush Puppy. He accused Hush Puppy of being a Yahoo boy, a term given to men who carried out online crimes such as the famous 419 scam. I wanted to commend EFCC for this good job. More work needs to be done in this regard. There are more Yahoo boys in Abuja and another reminder, there is this guy called Hush Puppy or something like that. Look into it. Deji tweeted after police arrested 57 alleged Yahoo boys at clubs in Ikea. You are coming to this debate. Please be well prepared to answer some very good questions that I have for you and I. You have to explain to me personally why is it that my elder sister, the one I was immediately born after, had to die of just typhoid in Nigeria, in Gagada General Hospital? Why did my sister have to die? Because my parents didn't have enough money. Why did she have to die? Because they didn't attend to her quick in the hospital. You have to answer these questions that give me pains that I go through all the time every day in my life you have to under, you have to be able to tell me why my parents have to suffer so much and they can't be proud of 1000 naira to hold since you proclaim that you fight for the people then why don't we take this debate to the people this debate should hold in Oyebo markets, Idumata markets, Yaba markets, which is close to the mad people's home where you belong. Because my mom has told me this morning, Ogba Wiri, Tosye, Waba on Lugba, Logba Wiri, Oma, Oma, no, and Shell, or Sogba Wiri, Uma Wari, Jayon Shijakere. You, you went online to call me names defaming my character, my personality, you will pay for these things. You don't know anything. This thing you are starting, it will not finish you. You won't be able to look at this thing. You understand? And when you are coming to this debate, please be well prepared to answer some. Um, I have a message for the GRD. Your Jew is inviting me to a debate. Yes, I accept your debate challenge. First, you have to know to invite me to Nigeria, it comes with a cost. Just like other people who have been inviting me for appearance in so many different countries worldwide, it comes with a cost which you have to discuss with me. If you want to see me, I don't care about you. You have to realize it comes with a first class ticket, um, five star hotel, on ground security. Since country is not safe it's well known for kidnapping people and all these things um, you have to provide me with my meals i have my own preferences you know the kind of food i eat um, also i want to make mention if you are fighting for the people this debate have to hold since you proclaim that you fight for the people your face first now but yes i don't accept and inside the rules of the debate me and you guys fight. The guys leave us more fight one on one. Me and you guys beat ourselves. The guys give us chance. Me, me and you. No be laughing at my video. So I serious. I serious. All the suffer with my mama don't suffer everything. I just put on for this guy. But me, I just press and me I touch him. They let me touch the guy small. So you understand? He go oh no. You go no. Oh who won't kill you first? Me. Why you they laugh like that? They talk the same way they pay me. They laugh. Now, suppose use my story, do documentary, to give people hope. And I look, say, no, people not supposed to get hope. People not deserve hope. People not suffer them as they used to. And then you and others. And I look, say, now, wait, say, I deserve. 
suffer. A lot of people in Badagri, people in Agege, people in Ebanja, enjoyment reach their side. What about people where they are born in states? Not for once I don't watch news. I don't hear say one development reach Ebony, Nasa, Arawa, all those kind of places. They don't be Nigerians. They don't deserve enjoyment. Um, I can't sit down, look, say, uh, meet where they chop for abroad. Now in the affects Nigeria. Now in make Nigeria no good. I don't deserve to chop meat. I don't deserve to wear better clothes. I don't to deserve to look like a human being. You can't look finish. You say, make me and you do debate. And I don't accept. I don't accept. First, you guys pay me the charges for me to come. You guys do everything because I be social media influencer that they pay me. If you want to go look YouTube, go look countries where they don't pay me to come to come to come host parties, events. You say you don't know my source of income. I guys pay. I suffer so much, and you know enjoy one enjoyment from the government till today. One single single enjoyment my papa know they enjoy. Why the guys explain to my papa why my papa guys got using hand burying your own picking, burying your own second wife. We die. They die, they, my sister die. He died through way. If not today, you nothing say that thing do my sister. I think nothing say go die. When money don't they now, nothing say go die. Oh, you know how many families they go through so many things like that. Do you know how many families are suffering different kind of pain within their hearts because of negligence of the government? Because the government don't cater for them. If they talk, they go say Nigeria don't they look, see people for lucky, they don't they do this, they don't they pass to gates. And I'm gonna use stupid, stupid things. They qualify Nigeria say so don't they, they enjoy. He never he never de equilibrium to the to the suffer where I don't suffer. I don't suffer for decades. I never enjoy reach you reach five years safe. So now they look say no, they're supposed to bring me back to come suffer. Say this no now must I must suffer. I don't know you. Yeah, for what be a sin. What? No fight. You guys understand, say, this thing where you want to start, you don't know where you go little. From now, from now, I don't know you. We, the people of Nigeria, we, the masses, we demand, say, make you stop to the fight for us because you are clearly not fighting for us. If you want debate, you need to arrange debate between my papa and Buari, may they sit down, may they talk, may Buari need to explain to my papa where my papa got suffer so much. And you know, enjoy one enjoyment. Looks are not deserve no stress. As my papa tell us who reach, my papa also pass Buari, my papa also pass Obasanjo in children, all in children, not even only me, not in get. And on a look, say only that me are supposed to suffer, I no deserve enjoyment. Tell me, Buari. Children, no, they don't deserve enjoyment, rituals. I swear, for the children, they don't deserve enjoyment, rituals. Because if they look how person they also reach, my papa also pass Buari, my mama suffer pass Buari wife. We, we, we being children, we suppose they fly private jets, but we no fly private jets. I suffer. How can I don't jam me so many times? Not go down jam me for the same Nigeria. I don't nearly die. I can't escape. I can't escape on our country just few years now. Yeah, I don't they enjoy this enjoyment never even mature. Just this small enjoyment where they enjoy. He never he never did equilibrium to the to the software so much. And they can be proud of one thousand naira that has been given to them by the federal government. My mother is from the Niger, the other part of Nigeria, where Nigerians all come from. She has never benefited. My mother is from the Niger Delta. She has never benefited one dollar from the Niger Delta, the oil producing part of Nigeria where she comes from. One dollar, and she's over 60 years old. In my whole generation, my papa, papa, my papa, my papa, 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 my papa, now only me see escape poverty small. Only me for our whole generation. When I want to clam that same me, say no. I suppose suffer only that me where escape where they chop no straight when I look at no 
deserve no stress. As my papa tells you, it's my papa also passed Buhari. Despite the rumor and controversies associated with his name, Hush Puppy continues to remain positive. Hush Puppy's Shoes Hush Puppy is often confused with American shoe brand Hush Puppies. The company makes casual footwear for men, women, and children. While Hush Puppy loves to splash out on shoes, he has no connection to the company. In fact, we doubt he owns a pair of Hush Puppies. He is more of a Gucci man. Hush Puppy's Car Hush Puppy has taken pictures with several cars over the past few years, including a Rolls Royce, Range Rover, Lamborghini, and Ferrari. But it is unclear whether he owns all of the cars or if he just poses next to them during his travels. He reportedly bought himself a new red Ferrari in August 2019, one year after he was seen posing with a white Lamborghini. The Ferrari was allegedly a limited edition with only 10 available in the world it's a rari baby limited edition one out of ten hashtag my new baby hashtag ferrari hashtag number four it can show the post which has been seen which has since been deleted hush puppy's house hush puppy has reportedly rented luxury houses in thailand and dubai he once revealed that he paid 24 million naira around 66 us dollars to rent an apartment it's unclear if hush puppy owns any of the homes he lives in Hush Puppy's net worth. Hush Puppy's exact net worth is known, but is unknown. But judging by the expensive purchases he flaunts on Instagram, he's likely worth hundreds of millions of naira. Aside from being a self-proclaimed real estate developer, Hush Puppy is also a social media influencer who gets paid thousands of dollars to host exclusive parties around the world. Some reports claim Hush Puppy is worth twenty million. US dollar. That's all we can take today on the news. I hope you have a great time listening. Have a wonderful day ahead.